Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is our core continuing order of religious education. Truly, God is an awesome God. We praise the name of Jesus for his guidance, his direction, his grace, his mercy, his peace, his provisions, his protection. Jesus is Lord. He's, he's the Christ, the son of the living God. He died for our sins, was buried and rose again early on the third day. And we thank him for it. Now, this evening, we're in um, Ephesians chapter 6, and I want to say this to you that basically, we've been dealing with these six pieces of equipment, which we call the armor of God for our protection, our, our prevention, amen, and, and, and this, these six pieces of uh, equipment is what the believer wears daily. Now, metaphorically, we don't actually, like a Roman soldier, put on a helmet and a breastplate. We put on Christ. We put on Jesus Christ and him crucified. We leave the house with Jesus Christ. We come home with Jesus Christ. We work all day with Jesus Christ. We travel with Jesus Christ. It's putting on Christ, that he is our protective device. And here in, in Ephesians chapter uh, 6, Paul says, and finally, brethren, so he saves the warfare as the final episode. He deals with the walk, the wisdom, the will, the warmth, but he saves warfare for last. And under, from these six pieces of equipment, they, they protect, they prevent, they promote um, Jesus Christ. And, and, and as we look at these things, it's interesting we establish the helmet that a Roman soldier wears is to protect his head, his brains, his mind. Spiritually, we got to put on Christ to protect our minds. Our minds are open to the, to the world, to all of the solicitations of evil, to temptations, to alternatives, to scripture. So we got to daily wear Christ on our head as a man thinketh, in his heart, so is he. And then the breastplate is to protect our heart's emotions. Because we can, you know, our emotions can get tied in knots if we allow them to. And he goes through the different parts of equipment. But when, when, when there's two pieces of equipment that he carries, the other four pieces he's wearing, but there's two that he carries. I want to deal with the one of the two in which he carries. And he says here in Ephesians 6, Above all. Now let's stop Paul's and Park and look at that. Why would he say above all, above all, above all, above all? That all the other pieces of equipment are very, very important and instrumental in us maintaining, amen, stability in Christ. But he says above all, taking the shield of faith. Now, let me stop Paul's apart. The shield was what the, the Roman soldier held up in battle. Okay. The shield would deflect all the fiery darts coming at him. Now, do you have any idea how many darts are shot at you every day? Do you have any idea what Satan is shooting at you to put your whole being on fire. Remember those cowboy and Indian pictures when the the cowboys would hide behind the wagon and the Indians would shoot at fire arrows that that had fire connected to them. And once they hit the wagon, everything burned up. So now, once the wagon burned, you were out in the open. Once Satan shoots his darts at you and can find a crevice to put everything aflame, you're open now to his exploits. Taking the shield, the shield, the shield of faith. My faith has to block off all the attacks of the enemy. My faith has to block off all the attacks from other people. My faith has to block off all the attacks from myself. I got to carry that shield daily. So, <clears throat> excuse me, when Satan sends 
of message to my mind or in my heart when I'm confronted with difficulty, when I feel like dying, when I feel like giving up, when I feel like walking out, <clears throat> excuse me, I got to lift up my shield and block off, prevent those darts from getting to me. Protect myself from the initiations of the enemy. You got to do this daily. Lord, give me that shield of faith that I carry. So when I'm being shot at, when Satan is shooting at me, when evil, when temptation, when wickedness, amen, when mentalities to walk out, to give up, to give in, then I lift up my shield of faith and deflect them from me. They never make it to me. They never make greater he that's in me than he that's in the world. They never make it to me. Uh, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. They never make it to me because my faith won't allow things to hit me. My faith is in Jesus Christ. My faith is in the risen Christ. My faith is in his ability to protect me, promote me, provide for me. Amen. My faith is that Jesus on a daily basis keeps things he prevents things from hitting my heart, hitting my mind, hitting my will, hitting my history. He prevents things from coming at me. I need that shield of faith. My faith is to keep lifting up my faith, my faith in Jesus Christ, my faith in his ability. Amen. He's able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence. I need my faith daily. I need to carry it. Because I never know when somebody's going to shoot at me. I never know when Satan's going to take a shot at me. I never know when I'm going to take a shot at myself. I never know when I'm going to get depressed and disgruntled. I never know when the enemy is shooting at me and I don't know he's shooting. But once I have that shield of faith, it blocks off. It blocks thoughts. It blocks, amen, hindrances. It blocks history. It blocks feelings that are not favorable. It blocks mentalities. I need that shield, hallelujah, of faith. I need that shield of faith. When I get up, get in the car, go to work, when I come home, I need that shield of faith. I need to be on guard every moment of the day, not exempting, listen, anybody from shooting at me. Not in the marriage, not with my children, not with my grandchildren, not at church. I need to keep that shield. I need to carry that shield as a as a condition to cut off negativity coming into me. Because if we don't, this negativity will come in. If we don't, amen, we'll start reasoning and surmising things that Satan knows is going to bring us down. I need my shield of faith. You need your shield of faith every morning you get up. You don't know what's coming at you. You don't know who's shooting at you. You don't know the intent of the darts. The darts are fiery. The darts are shot at you. The darts objective is to frustrate you, bring you down, fragment you. Amen. Stop your functioning for God. Stop your believing God. Stop your walking with God. Stop your trusting God. That's what all these darts are designed to do. And my shield of faith, hallelujah, stops it. I am who I am in Christ. Jesus is Lord. I'm his son, his daughter. I'm his servant. I'm here to serve. I'm here to submit. I'm here to subject. I'm here to surrender. I'm here to lift him up. But I got to carry daily my shield of faith. Do you have your shield this morning? Did you get up and put that shield on? Did you carry that shield with you? So whatever's coming in, you deflect it. In the name of Jesus our Christ, we pray. Amen. We love you.